Hey Air Signs, it's Sunny, and this is your weekend insight for the days of August 28th through the 30th. Hopefully all my Air Signs have an awesome, fun weekend. Um, I'm sorry that I'm doing this kind of late. I usually record, well I usually upload these and record these um, on Thursday, but I've been really, 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 really busy and depressed. So yeah, obviously I have two-tone hair now, and like I said for my Earth Sign video, if you haven't noticed, I am very odd and weird. And I express it through my hair, my nails, and my clothes. So, yeah. Let's get into the reading. I am feeling... Okay. My angels told me to pull out one more card for you guys. Okay. And I'm happy that I did. Okay. I am picking up that this weekend is going to be all about closure and tying up loose ends. I am seeing that if you are tied into an earth sign person, earth signs are Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, Some of you, you may decide to leave uh, an earth sign person. Uh, you you really don't feel satisfied with this earth sign person. You're just like kind of bored with everything. Um, I am picking up that you that some of you like you need to reconnect with your moms. I'm picking up on like a motherly energy, or maybe uh, whoever is pregnant. You just maybe like you need to be there for them. I am picking up that a lot of you like you are encountering a lot of pregnant women. For a reason so I guess like you need to be there for them um show them right from wrong I feel like these pregnant women have come from like a really scarred and uh scarred life and you are meant to show them some sort of opportunity and grounding and that's really odd that's really odd because my mom she's she's in a an Aquarius and she's kind of going through that so that's really cool but um on another note, I am picking up that uh, if you, like I said, if you're tied to an earth sign person, you, yeah, I just want to walk away from this person. You're starting to think logically with this person. Um, I am feeling like you find this earth sign person self-centered. On a brighter note, if you have anything dealing with an earth sign person, I am feeling like, uh, what's the, yeah, same thing. You really don't know what to do with this earth sign person. You maybe seeing the illusions or you're starting to see the truth within a certain situation i am feeling like um, you're just thinking logically and you're just starting to see what it is you need to see about this earth sign person uh i believe i said this but you may find this earth sign person self-centered or just really in their own world and it feels like they don't have enough time for you and you don't like that all right you really really don't I am seeing that a lot of you, you are really worried about your foundation and your finances. Um, some delays with your finances, I am telling, well, I am going to tell you that you need to be mindful of the energy that you uh, feel towards your finances. Um, I told a client this, I can't remember, I believe she was a Gemini. This is weird because she was a Gemini. And I told her, um, instead of saying, oh, I want money, I need money, say I have money. I have abundance I have happiness because I've been doing this for the last three months now and I've noticed a lot of changes within my life by me saying um, I have instead of saying I need and want so please do that all right because the same thing that I saw for my earth signs I feel like this weekend is gonna be a really really big karmic weekend I believe the full moon is um coming soon and full moons are very very powerful it's all about closures and new beginnings and um the energy that you put out all right so if you can pay attention to the full moon if if it is this weekend i think it is i, I can't remember i can't remember okay i am seeing that there's going to be some sort of unexpected changes heading for you this weekend these may be good or bad unexpected changes i am picking up that honestly you need to allow for change to happen there's going to be some sort of change all right and this is going to help you create a new foundation i feel like there needs to be some sort of shake up within your life for a reason um appreciate it accept it and just let it happen all right you can't control i feel like this is something that you really really can't control um so i mean it is what it is i am picking up that you are going to gain a more stable and firmer foundation due to you accepting these changes all right i am picking up that you need to stop worrying about money so much my air signs i i know like everyone wants money but like i said Say, I have money, I have abundance, I have happiness. And you will slowly see changes within your life for the better. I am picking up that a lot of you, like you are, okay, you've been wishing for things. And your wishes may be really unexpected, all right? 
let me try to spin that better because like that kind of didn't make no sense all right so the things that you've been wishing for like let's just say um you've wished for more money all right and you get fired this weekend maybe two or three weeks from now you're going to find a job that is more um like that's paying you more that you're much happier in so i mean whatever you've been wishing for you're going to get it so be mindful of the things that you've been wishing for okay but you will you are getting your wishes granted but it may not be the wishes it may not be the result that you wanted all right so just keep that in mind but you will be happy in the outcome like you honestly will i see that you will but um i do feel like a lot of you like you are going to feel um powerless towards these unexpected changes these are blessings in disguise they are blessings in disguise. So thank your God and your angels for these unexpected things because you're going through it for a reason. Allow this to um, help you gain a new perspective on things. Um, what I'm really honestly picking up is you need to be accepting of change. You really, really do. I am picking up that a lot of you, like you may decide to be by yourself because you're going to be so much into your head, which is understandable, but just be mindful that you are... Uh, just don't separate or isolate yourself um, for no reason. Um, I do feel like a lot of you like you may suffer anxiety attacks this weekend. Um, be careful about that. I'm also picking up that a lot of you you are discovering lies and decept and deception and maybe some obsession. You may discover this taking place really really soon. Um, is it for the better? Yes, it honestly is. It's really for the better. A lot of you like you're still holding on to. Uh, maybe like you're still holding on to the way things was or what the things were well, the way things were yeah <laughs> the way things were <laughs> I need grammar 101 I really really do but um I am picking up that honestly like you've been wanting change so allow for change to come to you all right I am picking up on like a lot of spiritual energy around you a lot of you you are gonna have some dreams about water and water um, is about cleansing purifying renewal so that's really awesome and the extra card that i pulled out for you guys honestly you're going to be happy you are getting your wishes you really really are um i am picking up that there's going to be some sort of extending family so a lot of you like you may discover some sort of pregnancy or like people may be moving in or you may meet uh people and they're going to feel like family to you so that's really cool yeah, I really see that this is going to be a really awesome weekend but i'm the, i'm the person looking from the outside so it's different but the message of the weekend for my queries is you're indecisive indecisive take this time to take that blindfold off and allow yourself to see things for what it really is you're getting the things that you are achieving for a reason all right this is tying into me saying um be mindful of the things that you wish for all right unexpected changes will happen but i mean it's for the better this is going to allow you to gain a fresh start it really really is so don't be close-minded to anything please don't okay message this weekend for my gemini hmm, you feel really defeated you feel like a victim you feel like a doormat you feel like you've been used get out of that mentality that's understandable because i do feel like uh Gemini's, you kind of been going through a lot, especially uh, relationship-wise. I have a couple of uh, Gemini clients, and they've been going through hell. But I mean, see the bigger picture. Don't focus on the doubts and the disappointments and the regrets. Don't, um, because whatever situation that you're going through is honestly going to make you stronger. You are on the last chapter of you feeling defeated. All right, so allow yourself to take those swords out your back. And to just see it as a lesson learned. You are a warrior, so keep that in mind, all right? But the message of this weekend for my Libras. All right, so a lot of imbalancement going on. A lot of feeling like the victim. That's really weird. Okay, so a lot of you, you feel kind of imbalanced upon something. You really don't know what to do. Same thing as the crisis number two. You feel really indecisive. You don't know what to do. Some of you, you may be fighting between uh, maybe like the yin and yang side of you. You may feel uh, like really happy the next minute and then the next minute like you feel really like depressed. And this is funny because a um, Libra client, I talked about this with her. So that's really cool and kind of weird. But um, take this time to understand that you have a lot of choices to make. Find out which choice is really beneficial for you. And it's funny because right now it's 
2.22 p.m. So that's really cool. Number two was really important for you guys. Um, number two, um, trying to find a balance. All right. Honestly, try to find a balance. Number two is your guys' lucky number for this weekend. Okay. So if you see the number two, that lets you know your angels are there with you to guide you. But um, a lot of you, like, you may follow your heart this weekend. Um, my Libras, you may um, you may be tied into a Gemini person. Um, a lot of baggage for this Gemini. A lot of sleepless nights with this Gemini. Shift for the better or maybe for the worse. It honestly depends upon what's going on. I am picking up. Things are trying to come together. But it's going to be very, very rocky. All right, it's going to be really, really rocky. Um... So honestly, find out what it is that you want to do. All right. I am feeling like a lot of you, like you may battle between the feminine and masculine sides of you. Okay. So just really find out what's best for you during that time frame. But like I said, I honestly feel like this is going to be a really good weekend for closure and seeing the bigger picture of it all. But like I said, I'm the out, I'm the, um, I'm on the outside looking in. So yeah, you may not see it like that, but honestly, I feel like you will. Friday days are coming, okay? So I'm trying to have a good weekend, my air signs, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.